Who does not know M-65 Maverick, a missile that played an important role in the Yom Kippur War, the Vietnam War Iran-Iraq, and the Persian Gulf War? This missile is claimed to be the most successful on the market and the most produced in the Western world. The M-65 Maverick is an air-to-surface tactical missile that is designed to support short-range air, prohibitions, and defense oppression. This missile provides the ability to survive and the possibility of high-speed attacks on various tactical targets, including armored vehicles, air defense, ships, transportation equipment, and fuel storage facilities. Maverick is a modular design weapon. Different combinations of guide packages and warheads can be attached to the rocket motor to produce different weapons. Maverick has three different seekers and two different warheads. The dense dense motorcycle propulsion section is common for all variants. The search options are electro-optical imaging, infrared imaging, or laser guide packages. Since it was introduced to the service, many versions of Maverick have been designed and produced using the electro-optic infrared guide system, lasers, and imaging. AM-65 has two types of explosive upstreams. One has a contact fuel in the nose, and the other has a heavyweight warhead that is equipped with a delay-action fuel, which penetrates the target with its kinetic energy before exploding. The missile is currently produced by Raytheon Missile Systems. The AM-65 configuration is similar to the AIM-54 Phoenix and AIM-4 Falcon missiles. The missile has a modular design, which allows it to be equipped with a different guidance package upstream. The missile has a length of about 2.49 meters, a diameter of 0.3 meters, and a wing width of 0.72 meters. It has a cylindrical body with a warhead in the middle. In addition, he has delta wings with long cords. The surface of the tail control is mounted near the back edge of the plane's wing. An aircraft can carry up to six Mavericks at once, and missiles can be assigned to several targets simultaneously. Missiles are usually installed in groups under the wings of the aircraft. AM-65 uses solid fuel for the driving force. The power plant consists of a solid fuel TX-481 rocket motor located behind the warhead. The missile is fired at a speed of 1,150 km per hour and has a range of about 22 km at a medium height. Maverick's development began in 1966 and took six years for its settlement. The missile was designed to replace the old M-12 bullpup missiles guided by the old radio, which was originally launched in 1959. Maverick M-65 was first used by the USAF in August 1972, replacing M-62 walleye in the 1970s. Maverick was declared operational on August 30, 1972, with F-4DS and A-7s. It was originally permitted for this type of missile to make its combat debut four months later, with the USAF in the Vietnam War. During the Yom Kippur War in October 1973, Israel used Mavericks to destroy and paralyze enemy vehicles. In June 1975, during the border confrontation, Iran's Phantom F-4E formation destroyed a group of Iraqi tanks by firing 12 Mavericks at them. Five years later, during the Morvrit operation as part of the Iran-Iraq War, Iran's F-4 used Mavericks to sink three OSA-2 missile ships and four P-6 combat vessels. In August 1990, Iraq invaded Kuwait. In early 1991, the U.S. Leadership Coalition executed Operation Desert Storm, where Mavericks played an important role in expelling Iraqi forces from Kuwait. Hired by F-15E Strike Eagles, F-A-18 Hornet, AV-8B Harrier, F-16 Fighting Falcons, and A-10 Thunderbolt II, more than 5,000 Mavericks are used to attack steel targets. The most widely used variant by the USAF is M-65D guided by ear. On March 28, 2011, for the first time Maverick was fired from the Lockheed P-3 Orion to the enemy ship when USN and the coalition unit came to help Libyan rebels against the Libyan Coast Guard ship Vittoria at the port of Misrata, Libya, Vittoria was involved and shot by the USN aircraft P-3C Maritime Patrol with AM-65 Maverick missiles. There are several variants of the Maverick missile including the M65 A variant was developed with an electro-optical television guidance system and was successfully tested in 1969. 
The first Maverick A missile was delivered to the USAF in 1972 by order of the US Air Force. At that time the US Air Force signaled to replace conventional bombs with strict requirements that these bombs must meet the criteria of a maximum weight of 500 pounds, 226 kilograms, can be controlled with a simple system, can be transported by existing fighter aircraft, and is easy to maintain. The Maverick B model has an electro-optical television guidance system. After the protective dome cover was automatically removed from the missile's nose and its video circuitry activated, the sight seen by the guidance system appeared on the cockpit television screen. The pilot selects a target, concentrates the crosshairs on it, locks on, and then launches the missile. The Maverick B also has screen zoom capability, which allows the pilot to identify and lock on to smaller and more distant targets. The Maverick D has an imaging infrared guidance system, operated like the A and B models, except that the infrared video overcomes the daylight-only severe weather limitation of the other systems. The infrared Maverick D can track the heat generated by the target and provide the pilot with an image view of the target during darkness and foggy or inclement weather. The Maverick E model is the only version that has a laser-guided seeker section. It uses a heavyweight penetrator warhead. The U.S. Air Force and Marine Corps are users of this variant. The Maverick F is a naval variant of the DG-IR model, currently in service with the U.S. Navy. It also uses a 300-pound penetrator warhead. The Maverick G model has basically the same guidance system as the D, with some software modifications that track larger targets. The main difference with the G model is its heavyweight penetrator warhead, while the Maverick B and D models use a shaped charge warhead. The Maverick K model is currently under development. They were developed by taking the G model and replacing the IR guidance system with an electro-optical television guidance system. The Maverick K and H models are currently in production. The Maverick K model was developed by taking the G model and replacing the IR guidance system with an electro-optical television guidance system. The Maverick H model was developed by taking the B model and upgrading it to increase its capabilities.